I don't drink beer very often, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. <laughs> no way. I prefer Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Actually, I did a video as a joke where I kind of uploaded this thing. Thanks, Sierra, for sponsoring my videos. Uh, I don't drink very often. It's very rare. And I was just got back from the store, and I bought a six-pack of Sierra Nevada. And uh, when I went camping last week, I bought a six-pack to share. Uh, and I was... Uh, I, I'm very limited. I'll have one or two beers, you know. It's not like... Uh, it's not something that I really enjoy. Unless it's the right moment, and it's always in the summertime. And I might drink every... About once every... Th maybe three or four months, I'll have a couple beers. Sometimes I'll have like two or three shots, but it's pretty rare. So when I do drink, I like to have something I actually enjoy. And uh, this beer has been with me for a long time, through many years. <laughs> Somebody's having fun. Um, and I thought about it, and I was like, you know, all the different beers in the store these days are just overwhelming, just like... I went down the other day and looked, and I haven't really bought beer in a long time, and the shelves were just lined with 22s, and I'm just, I live in Portland, so of course, we're like the beer capital, you know, the microbrew capital of the country, I believe, or maybe of the world, but uh, we've got a lot of different beers to choose from, it's ridiculous, and I'll tell you, I've tried all these different random beers, and all these companies keep coming out with all these new ones, you know, and every once in a while, somebody will be like, hey, try a sip of this, and it just doesn't compare to Sierra Nevada. It's like the old standby. Consistent. It always is perfect. There's only two beers that I really like drinking. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale and Mirror Pond Pale Ale. Mirror Pond is made by Deschutes Brewing. And uh, I also really enjoy Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout. Delicious, delicious beer. Um, but only in moderation. Very small amounts. Even with Sierra Nevada, I can only have about about two or three beers, and that has to be over a few hours. I'm, my body does not like alcohol. I'm a cannabis smoker. That's my thing. And uh, uh, I thoroughly enjoy a good beer, though. And I really enjoy a good hoppy beer. I do love Heineken because it has that hoppy aroma. Uh, I can't remember the hops they use. I used to brew beer with my friends, and so and I have a friend that still brews beer. I uh, can't remember the particular hops they use in that, but um, uh, it smells like cannabis. It smells skunky, very skunky. And you know, hops are actually very close in terpene content to cannabis. They smell very similar, and they have many different varieties. So pot and beer are a lot more alike than people realize, mostly because of the smells. If you buy cheap beer, well, you know, I'll be honest, I enjoy, I enjoy Coors. I don't like Coors Light, but I enjoy Coors. A uh, six-pack of Coors and bottles is a great beer. It really is. But it's for consistent, you know, for drinking. Like, when I go out and uh, go to a festival or something, I bring beer with me. I might bring a few of those. But generally, Sierra Nevada is the best beer, in my opinion, that there is out there. And uh, I give props to this company for continuously producing a good product at a good price. It's always on sale. <laughs> Probably because there's so many damn beers out there they're trying to compete. So, anyway, some props to the microbrew industry and the fine art pieces and specially tailored beers that they've created. Uh, there's some really nice beers out there. I don't mean to say that the other beers aren't good. They're just, to me, not as good. And I like variety, too, but I don't like to experiment when you're buying $5 beers, you know. <laughs> Take care.